Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day. Have you recently heard the phrase, it's a fool's errand? It basically means you have little chance of success. Sometimes this is used in the sense of a practical joke, maybe like snipe hunting. Have you ever been? Snipe hunting is when a group takes a naive person out at dark to hunt snipes, a creature that doesn't really exist. Everyone who is in on the joke runs around after snipes and yells, here's a snipe, there's a snipe. Meanwhile, the newbie to the group is either carried along and joins in the hunt or wises up really fast. But other fool's errands aren't as funny. And today's passage from Psalm 53 tells us that story of a fool's errand that is not that humorous. So Psalm 53 verses 1 through 3 says, The fool says in his heart there is no God. They are corrupt, doing abominable iniquity. There is none who does good. God looks down from heaven on the children of man to see if there are any who understand, who seek after God. They have all fallen away. Together they have become corrupt. There is none who does good, not even one. Denying God's existence is a true fool's errand. There is no hope for success. The reality of the existence of God is always present. Proverbs says that the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. Knowing that there is a God who is worthy of our reverence is the beginning of wisdom. Now, I'm guessing that most of us watching this video wouldn't say out loud, there is no God. But many of us say it in the way that we live. We are often practical atheists. If you're a practical atheist, Every decision you make is one of self-determination. There is no thought of God. When you live like there is no God, we are living the fool's errand. We are doomed to repeat corrupt and evil decisions. We will be in a replay loop of sin and rebellion. When we live like there's no God, we will spiral down, downward until we are living as foolishly as the person running around in the dark trying to catch a snipe. Paul gives the remedy to this practical atheist life. And it's in Romans 3, 20 through 24. And the New Living Translation puts it this way. We are made right with God by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. And this is true for everyone who believes, no matter who you are. For everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. Yet God, in His grace, freely makes us right in His sight. He did this through Christ Jesus when he freed us from the penalty of our sins. Have you been living as if God wasn't real? Wake up to that foolishness and embrace wisdom. God does exist. He wants to change your life and bring you into a forever relationship with him. He did that through Jesus. So turn from sin and trust in Jesus who has set you free to live in his wisdom. I hope that today's video has helped you if it has, would you like it, share it, or leave a comment below, and have a blessed day.